This is our stretcher force sensor, and we've tried to make it as much as possible like a standard stretcher board that goes in a boat. So it's got minimal impact on the um, boat fittings themselves. But it's a very sophisticated device, and it does measure force quite purely, so it's not influenced by uh, many other factors um, that you get in other stretcher force sensors. So we're measuring the horizontal force, the vertical force, and also where on the board the pressure is centered. So and that's measured in terms of distance right to left and distance top to bottom from the center of the sensor. Okay. A really important thing to note is that anything colored black on this is on the live part of the sensor. So when you apply a force to that, it's going to be measured. And then anything in the natural aluminium color is on the earth side, so is attached to the hull. So, if you install this in a boat, and the edge of the footboard, or if those rails there are pressing against either the hull, or a drinks bottle, or something else that's jammed in that space, uh, then it's going to ruin your readings. Okay, so the installation has to keep all the black parts clear of anything except for the rowers' feet. Okay, installing the stretch board sensor on the boat. Let's take the, uh, the shoes off of the foot plate. Okay, the stretch board sensor is designed to fit into a standard three point of attachment in a boat uh, where we'll be replacing a standard stretcher that has tube fittings. So, the first thing you need to do is uh, make up tubes of the right length so that it will fit in the to you. This is all detailed in the manual, but basically you need to measure the width across the centre lines of the two tracks and use that to work out the length of tubes that you need to cut. And the formula is to take that length, which in this instance is 370 millimetres, subtract 110, 260, and then divide by 2, 130, and that will give you the length of tube that you need to cut. So we supply by default some uh, 25 millimetre tube and some sharp tooth inserts for those. So once you've cut your tube lengths, you can see how they fit into some clamps either side of the sensor. So undoing these two screws will loosen off the tube and we can take that out. Okay, once you've got your tubes cut to length, we're ready to install in the boat. First of all, make sure that the tube clamps are undone using three millimeter Allen key. So these tubes are free to rotate. And also that the heel bracket down here is loosened off with a four millimeter Allen key. So that length can be adjusted. Okay. So if we drop the sensor into the boat. we're ready to make the adjustments and to tighten everything up. So the first thing to do is make sure that we've got whatever angle we want on the sensor. So let's assume 45 degrees. And let's assume that I've got that right. So once we've made those adjustments and made sure that the stretcher is central in the boat and not off to one side, then we can tighten up the tube clamps at the top using the three millimeter allen key and the stretcher heel bracket down the bottom using the four millimeter allen key. 
and I'll go around later and just make sure those are nice and tight.